Sam Heifel from Entertainment Weekly. I'm coming to you from Comic-Con with the cast of Winona Earp. Welcome, guys. How's it going? I want to talk, I mean, obviously, I feel like this is the obvious question, but like Winona being pregnant, how is this going to affect her relationships? Ooh. Ooh. Make them <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Um, Winona was pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little, little. She's just wearing a big sweater. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to like everybody 10% less. Yeah. Because sure. hormones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think everybody, uh, the stakes are just so much higher, and I think everybody is going to be affect, at least affected by it in different ways. So I think this one here has a, a particularly difficult. Uh, I just picked my nose on, on the you know, <laughs> and went right in there. Uh, middle finger too. Is yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I think um, I think with what Waverly's going through, I think it's especially difficult for her, but I think everybody's, everybody's actually affected by it mm-hmm. in some way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Does it all affect her demon killing abilities? No. No, it Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Right. 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 No, it definitely doesn't, but I think it does increase the stakes. Like, we really wanted to tell the story that she still can do her job. Like, so many women who get pregnant, they mm-hmm. can still do their job. It's really crazy. Um, <laughs> but she just happens to be the only one who can wield this magical gun and kill all the demons, and now more than ever, she's got to do it. She's just a little top heavy. <laughs> uh, I don't know who said that. Uh, that's <laughs> <what you're laughs> that was so uh, inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, if anything, I think she's more focused. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And definitely not top heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean this top heavy? Yes. Yes. Right yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Bosoms. Yeah. Yeah. Bosoms. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we touched on Waverly a little bit, but now that she's back to being herself, mm-hmm. what can we kind of expect from her relationship with Nicole? Ooh, well, I feel like I'm so nervous in interviews to not give away <laughs> spoilers <laughs> about what's about to come. Um, but yeah, Waverly's back to being Waverly, but you know, a new version of Waverly to probably what we met in season one, like she's gone on a huge journey and she's at a very different place in her life now, which is exciting because she's, you know, truly stepping into her shoes as a woman. So I think that we will see a more passionate and, uh, yeah, different version of the relationship yeah. as, it, as it would be. And I think like watching them try to navigate the natural change of that of like oh this maybe isn't the person i thought you were at the beginning and and seeing a whole different side of you um i think it's really interesting to watch them them go through that and especially for nicole thinking well what if that was real what if that was you Mm -hmm. i think poses a lot of really big questions for her because it's there were so many firsts when waverly was gooberly waverly gooberly (laughs) so yeah it definitely was a big test right at the beginning of their kind of really officially being together yeah yeah and how is Nicole handling not being in Black Badge? She hasn't mentioned it in a bit, but like yeah. it seems like it's still there. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think she has a really hard time with it because I think she sees she she wanted that promotion so badly, and she's so dedicated to her job. And I think what I love there's a moment that Nicole has with Wynonna where she sees her kind of lazily taking these photos oh, yeah, of that's a dead great. body. And she's Whoa! Lazy. Oh, <laughs> 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 the donut. Donut. I was casually, casually, casually. <laughs> but I think yeah. she she feels it's hard for her not to feel left out, especially because Waverly's so connected to it. Sure. So she wants to help, but there's all these barriers. Yeah. Yeah. Are the ladies in black like the big bads for the rest of the season? They're pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. And they're definitely gonna be around. So okay. um, yeah. And I think we're just starting to see the extent of the badness. Exactly. Yeah. And it's fun watching it because obviously we weren't there filming it. I was like, they are terrifying. Yeah, they're pretty terrifying. terrifying. <laughs> yeah, so, and determined. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you guys teased the pregnancy shocker. You teased some more surprises. Mm -hmm. What are you maybe most, without, you know, spoiling something huge, obviously, but what are you most looking forward to fans seeing with the rest of the season? Good question. Um, I will say this cast is just so phenomenal. Like, as a rule, I think their work just gets better and better and better as the season goes on. And by the time we get to the finale, it's just Emmys for everyone. You're here to hear (laughs) us. That's 100% guaranteed, guys. I think there's so many emotional moments. I'm really just proud of the stories we told because I really felt like we kept the balance of the emotions and what it meant for Winona to be pregnant, but still all the fun, ass-kicking, demon-beating-up stuff that we're known for. So I'm really proud of the tone and the balance. But it doesn't get less crazy, I would say. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't say we 
job ending on cliffhangers. So. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and stay tuned to EW for all your Comic-Con needs.